Lesson four, we're going to be converting metric capacity units. Here's your learning goal. Go ahead and rate yourself. Oh, I had it on there twice. All right, capacity is how much space an object takes up. Capacity, we are going to measure in liters. One liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So liters are heavier or bigger, take up more space than milliliters. So we said earlier, one liter is 1,000 milliliters. So then five liters will have five groups of 1,000. So you have 5,000 milliliters. 38 liters, you'll have 38 groups of 1,000. So you'll have 38 thousand milliliters. Now let's go the other way. 48,000 milliliters. Well, how many groups of a thousand do you have? You have 48 groups. 59 liters. Okay, so you're going to multiply by a thousand. So 59 times a thousand is 59,000. And 32,000 32, milliliters. How many groups of a thousand do you have? You have 32. All right. So, now let's do some converting. So how many milliliters are in two liters and 500 milliliters? Well, I know two liters is 2,000 milliliters plus the 500 milliliters we have here. So you'd have 2,500 milliliters. Next, 70 liters plus 850 milliliters. Well, one liter is 1,000 milliliters, so we have 70 groups of 1,000, or 70,000, plus 850, right? So we have 70,850 milliliters. Here's another one. 33 groups of 1,000, because we're converting to milliliters, plus 15 milliliters. So we have 33,015 milliliters. All right, another one. Two liters, eight milliliters. Well, I'm converting to milliliters, so I have 2,000 liters, 2,000 milliliters, because one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters plus eight milliliters. So 2,008 milliliters. All right. Now let's go from many to few. Well, how many groups of a thousand do we have? We have three groups of a thousand and 812 in the ones, you know, like category, like the ones period. So two, ten, and eight in the ones period. Same here. How many thousands do we have? We have 86,000. And then how many in the ones period? Just three. All right, now let's do some addition. We cannot add these because the units are different. So we need to make the units the same. So 40 liters is equal to 40,000 milliliters plus 1,760. I know that is 41,760 milliliters, which is also equal to 41 liters. 760 milliliters. All right, seven liters minus 3,405 milliliters. Can't do that because your units are not the same. So let's first convert units. We have 7,000 milliliters, which is the same as seven liters, minus 3,405 milliliters. We're gonna have to do some regrouping. So this is equal to 3,595 milliliters because that's what we were subtracting. Now we can also convert this into liters because we do have a number in the thousands place. So you have three liters and then what's left in the ones period? 595 milliliters. For homework tonight, I would like you to solve the following problems. Thank you so much for your hard work and I will see you tomorrow.